All right, here's how to build a poor man's jumper pack. July 4th, picnic edition. First, get yourself one of these battery boxes. Uh, you can get them at Walmart for about $8, $8, $9, something like that. It's a group 24 to 31 battery box. It says right here on the side. It's the larger size that has a divider on the inside. It's got a couple locks on it. You push them in with your fingers and the top comes off. Inside, there's a movable divider. So you can size it for different batteries. Now what we're going to do is, instead of putting in a full-size battery, we're going to use a car battery in here. Just because we're trying to be really cheap here. Uh, you know, pretend you have a car battery laying around or something like that that's otherwise useless. We're going to use this larger battery box with its extra bit of space in here to create a jumper pack. Take your old car battery of any kind. Side post is a little tougher, but this video is going to be about using a top post battery. Okay, set your battery down inside the box. You notice we've got a little bit of space left over here. Go ahead, slide the divider, make sure it fits your battery pretty decent and uh, you know no sliding around or anything like that. We're going to install a cigarette lighter socket right in here in the empty space so we'll have a little bit of room for wiring and whatnot. You'll need a couple extra things. You need a pair of wire cutters and strippers like this that also has crimping ability. They also sell the cheap versions of these at Walmart, I think for $3.88 or something. Um, they've got a stripper down here and the crimper parts up in the top, it's color coded. They're okay, you know, you can make do with them, but something like this is a little bit better. This is an S&K brand that I bought at Napa years ago. Also, you're going to need, from Walmart, the Auxiliary Power Outlet Kit. This is the metal cigarette lighter socket. Also a inline fuse holder, 12 gauge, with the yellow on it. This is a couple dollars at Walmart. Next, you'll need some battery terminals that mount on the top of the battery. I like these from Walmart. They're a little bit cheaper, but they have a wing nut on them so you can go ahead and attach other cables and, and do kind of like a quick release deal on that. If you don't have those, you can get this style. This one you're going to have to kind of pound down the top of the battery a little bit. And in the back, it's got these bolts that you can take out. You're going to be attaching some ring terminals to these bolts, which is why I like the wing nut version better because it's pretty much, you know, a do it by finger type of thing. And you're also going to need a couple fuses to go in the inline fuse holder. Um, like a 10 amp or, you know, you could even go as low as a 5 amp if you want, depending on how much power you're going to be pulling through this thing. I would suggest like a 10. Uh, I think the highest you probably can go is 15. And, of course, it doesn't say on the back of the uh, package here what it's rated for, but usually it's, it's 10 or 15. Now, a little trick thing that we're doing here, when you put the lid on the box, it's got these cable entry hoods that go over. What we want to do is, you want to mount the cigarette lighter socket underneath one of these. So in case this box is sitting outside and a little bit of rain happens to fall or whatever, it doesn't directly drip into the socket. So you'll want to place it down here. Take the socket out of its package, Unscrew the shell, and remove the bracket. We're going to use the bracket to mark the hole. Center the bracket where you want it, take a marker, trace inside the hole. I'm using a step drill bit to punch the hole. Uh, you can use a small drill bit and then use a knife to finish the rest of the hole, whatever you need to do.
Okay, we've got our hole drilled. Go ahead, put your socket through the hole and attach the rear shell and tighten. There we go. Go ahead and put the divider back in the box. Now, take your fuse holder out of the package and you may have to strip the ends a little bit more. So strip your wire, then take the end and twist the strands together. Now you've prepped one side. Go ahead and do that to the second side. Go ahead and take one of these, which is known as a butt splice, and I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere, but I don't really care about that right now. Place it on the end of the wire and twist a bit until it seats in there good. Now go ahead and use your crimper. Okay, we've got that end crimped on. Go ahead and crimp this side too. Here's your new positive wire assembly. Go ahead and attach this to the center of the socket. Set your battery back in. Tuck your positive wire down inside. Your positive wire is going to be plenty long enough to go to the positive terminal over on this side. Go ahead and install your battery terminals now. Go ahead and take the wing nuts off. Make sure your positive wire reaches, then go ahead and crimp an end on. You want to put a ring terminal on this. Okay, now you've got a ring terminal on here. Go ahead and make sure your negative wire is long enough. Then go ahead and crimp a ring terminal onto the end. Go ahead and attach your negative wire. And that's it. Basically, you have a 12 volt socket, negative wire running to negative terminal on the battery, you have a fuse holder added in to the positive line going to the positive side of the battery. Now you're ready to fire the pack up. Install a 10 amp fuse and you're done. Go ahead and take a multimeter if you have one or buy one at Walmart, set it to DC volts usually it says DCV and go ahead and test your battery voltage this battery is reading 12.70 so it's fully charged go ahead and put your cover on you now have a nice semi weatherproof case with a 12 volt battery inside 12 volt cigarette lighter socket so you can charge a cell phone or run a small power inverter or other devices which I'm going to show you in the next video. We're going to run a gasifier stove off this, powering the 12 volt fan in the gasifier.